In prior videos, you have already learned about the various data types, primarily numerical data types, such as integer and floating numbers, and also strings. And so let's say that you want to work with both numerical data and also strings or text data, and you want to combine them together. How can you do that? And so in this video, I will be showing you how, and we're starting right now. So the first thing that you need to do is enter the Python environment. So let's create a variable called a equals to five. And let's create a variable b equals to car. And so let's say that I want to combine a and b, a plus b. And then I can't do that because I get this error message. Type error, unsupported, operand types for integer and string. And so what this essentially tells us is that we cannot mix and match integers and string in the above statement. And so in order to allow this to work, we have to make it into the same data type. And so let's have a look. Can we make cars into an integer? Probably not. But can we make the integer into a string? Yes, we could do that. And so in the previous video, I've already shown you how. And if you haven't yet watched that video, I'll provide you the link in the video description, which will show you how you could convert from integer to strings and also from strings to integer. All right, and so let's get started. So let's convert the numerical value here from integer into a string. And so let's do that. And so let me create a variable called C equals to str because we want to convert the A variable into a string. And let's check that. Now it's a string. Type in C, so now it is a string. And so let's do it again. This time it's C plus B. C plus B. And now it works. You can see that we are now able to combine the two variables together because we have already made it into the same data type. And so they are both strings. Let's start over again. Let's say I have a variable A, I assign it to one, and I have a variable B, I'll assign it to two, but then I'll make it into a string. Okay, and so now let's combine the two variables. Let's have A plus B, and so notice here that it gives me an error saying that we have an integer and we have a string for each of the variables a and b. And so in order to make this work, in order to solve this error, we will need to make it into the same data type. And so how can you do that? Well, there's two options. You could either make a into a string or you could either make b into an integer and then a plus b would work. So in the first example, if we make a into a string, we'll essentially be doing a text concatenation, meaning that we are simply placing the two strings side by side. Let me show you. If I convert variable a into a string using the str function, which I have already shown in a prior video. And so I'll put the links to the prior video in the video description. If you want to learn more about how to convert strings to integer and also integer converted back to strings. And so here we're converting from an integer into a string and then we're adding it to b. And now it works. And notice that as I have already mentioned, the string one and the string two are just simply placed side by side. So it is essentially a text concatenation or a string concatenation, string concatenation. Or we could call it text concatenation. Okay, simply the merger of two strings together. And now let's go for option two, where we convert variable b to become an integer. So we could have a plus, and then I'll use the int function to convert variable b to become an integer. And now it works. So one plus two is three. And so here you can see that both options work, but then which one do you want? And so based on your coding project, you will decide which option do you want to go to, option A or option B here, okay? And so congratulations, in this video, you have learned how you could work with both strings and integers and how you could interconvert between integer to string and strings to integer so that you will get the same data type in order to make the operation. 
creation work. And so if you're finding value in this video, please support the channel by smashing the like button, subscribing if you haven't already, and also hit on the notification bell so that you will be notified of the next video. And until next time, happy coding.